Now, I understand why both of you guys overlooked my team, and that's men's hockey. <laughs> and men's hockey, you could say they had a little rough start at first, losing to Mercyhurst. But now with their final seven games that they just had, they're now 5-1-1. One, and one, and all they have is unranked opponents now. And with Johnny Walker being one of the best offensive players. After a quick decision by 125-pound Brandon Courtney, it went a little south for a couple matches, going with Josh Kramer as well as Navante Demison. But picking it up in the second half with Ja'Cory Teamer all the way up to Tanner Hall, it was nonstop action and nonstop winning for Arizona State. And with him sitting out, everyone thought ASU would not be able to be a competitive team this year, but now they're already top 20. They have five guys sub 20 seconds going into that 50 freestyle, and they're just shattering records that no ASU competitor thought they would be taking on this whole year. On Tuesday, the Arizona State men's hockey team agreed to join the Big Ten Conference for this year only in order to play a 28-game season. The Sun Devils will be playing four road games against each Big Ten team in the conference-only schedule. Now, I don't know if I could compete with the triathlon team, <laughs> but I'm going to compete with ASU Wrestling, who's number four in the country right now, and actually defeated the number one team a couple months back, and that was Penn State, ending the 60-match dual streak. They got about seven or eight wrestlers, depending when the rankings come out, who's going to be ranked. And even their weak spot, where they say is the lightweights, those guys are even ranked as well. ASU has reshaped the MMA scene in multiple ways. Some examples include MMA's landscape being changed with Cain Velasquez bringing a new style of defensive wrestling, Dan Henderson bringing the tough wrestling pace to five minute bouts, and Dan Severn placing the heavyweight class in national fame when UFC first started in 1993. Former Sun Devils Zahid Valencia returned to the mat against one of the best to ever lace it up, Jordan Burroughs. Now looking at Jordan Burroughs, he came in to this match against Zahid with a combined 194 and 10 freestyle record as well as 22 gold medals around his waist, around his neck, wherever those 22 medals can fit. Valencia came into the match though confident though and showed he can match up well. Valencia's size as well as his speed truly showed in the first period as he was able to shut down Burroughs' sprints and his doubles, and Valencia finished with a 4-0 lead in the first period. Well, with them finishing 15-2 this season, I would grade ASU and A. And in their two losses, they were one point away from defeating Ohio State in Columbus, Ohio, and they were heedless against Lehigh. Sports have faced many challenges at all levels. One of the main challenges is high school athletes trying to pick up college offers. After all, millions of high school athletes across the country are trying to make it out of their small hometowns and make a big name for themselves in their collegiate sport. 